Hey guys, Fog City Tactical back here with part 4 of the Marlin 795 trigger job. This is the trigger guard. And uh, it's very easy to remove. I do have a video that explains how to take all these pieces apart. So what we're basically trying to do is uh, relieve some pressure off this trigger. When you uh, squeeze this trigger, well, that's what's, oh, the safety's on. Um, it returns. And there is about a pound of force, I, I put the scale on there, it takes to just move the trigger without even touching the disconnect. So, um, here's the spring. You can see right here. And you can see how it is putting pressure on here as I push on it. So, um, what people have done, if I read, read is they take a three and a half inch floppy disk, um, there's a little spring that closes this door. Oh, I got a defective disc, don't I? There we go. And when you take it apart, you get a spring that looks like this. So we can see it. Well, wow. come back here. All right, so this is the spring, what it looks like. So let's put that to the side because we're going to need that later. We're going to have to reshape that. Okay. Uh, what I did use is a 1 16th punch. I don't know if you can see that. And we want to push these pins out from the right side of the gun to the left side of the gun. There is three of them. The back one here is for the detent, for the safety. I don't think we have to remove that. So we're going to remove these two forward pins. And we're just going to push these through. I don't think it's going to require, I think if they were, it's, well, no, they, they, they come right through. That one's a little tighter, let's see. That might require, okay, well, the back one pushed right through, so this one is out. There you go. And you can see the spring. That's the pivot. All right, so I'm going to get a piece of tape here to hold it, to keep it from breaking, and we're going to just put a little bit of, a little bit of force. I'm not going to use a hammer. I'm actually going to just use the, the back of the pliers. And it sounds like I'm hitting it really hard, and I'm not. I'm just barely tapping it. All right, the pin just dropped out. Let's go ahead and pull that off, and that should release everything else. There we go. There's the two pins. And here's the trigger itself. Oh, nice. Look at that. Let's get that out of there. And as you can see it, and you can see the orientation, how this spring was on. And we're going to have to remember that. So it hooks on the back here. Let's see if I can get my fingers out of the way. I got an idea. Let's put this through. No, we'll just hold it. All right, well, it sits, you know, like that. And what we need to do, let's compare the two, actually, right here. Nice, big, chunky factory one. Nice, thin, small one. So I'm going to reshape this so it looks very similar to that one. And I think it's possible. I'm going to do it off camera while I be creative. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and uh, made a replica of how this spring looks like. So we can get this on my hand so we can see it up close. And the other one's tiny. It's like a little gnat. And I think it looks pretty dang close. Let's put it next to it. Can you see that? Looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and install this back in here now. Let's get rid of the stock one. Alrighty, so we're going to wrap this around the trigger how I found it. The back of it. And we're going to line that hole up. And then we're going to drop this in. Oh, sorry. Alright, let's get this in place. Slide that in. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and grab a pin too and start lining this all up. Alright, so I can get it down in there. Back your spring. Let's see if I can get this back in place. Alright, I'm going to do this off camera. No, actually, we'll do it. Let's do it here. So we can rock and roll this done. Alright, pause. 
All right, guys, I'm back. I am not going to lie, that was a pain in the freaking ass. I got it back in here. And the trick in what I did is I dropped it in from the top, I pushed my fingernail in there, and then drove the pin through. So now we have the uh, three and a half inch floppy disk spring installed. Oh, barely anything. Pull it, and it does return. Let's install this and see what happens. Okay, got it back together. Let's make sure everything's clear again. So, we are clear. Let's install this. We are charged. And let's grab the scale and see if we pulled anything off this trigger. That wasn't too hard. That was actually pretty easy because you don't have to take apart the action. That little spring is what makes it really difficult. Let's get this up forward so we can get this in the frame. All right, so we we're at about four and a half uh, before we started this. And now we are going to be at... I meant four pounds. Ah, oh, that's beauty. Let's try it again. Let's pull it straight across how I did the other, the other times so to be consistent. Four pounds. So the little uh, spring that was a pound pulling it took off a half a pound at the trigger end. I'm very happy with that. Stay tuned. If I can get it down another pound safely, I'd be very happy. So, thanks for watching.